in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Finish what you have started in my life. Be a completer. Be a completer to Hallelujah. Father, we are gathered tonight again with our hearts lifted to you, with our hands lifted to you. The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. And he said, Whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. We cry, O oh God, that you show us your help tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Let it not be as usual, O oh God, tonight. In the name of Jesus, let it not be as usual. Move upon our lives. Move upon our destinies. In a way and a manner that will leave a mark that will last for a long time. We give you praise tonight. In the name of Jesus. A big welcome to someone by your left and right. And please be seated. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. You're welcome to our June Miracle Service. God is already doing great things. Hallelujah. Those outside are following more than those inside. Bless you, those outside. Hallelujah. My spirit is fired up. You know, this anointing thing is a very... Um, I've had the privilege of walking in this anointing for a while but it still marvels me how the anointing works you know we just returned not too long from a trip and honestly speaking I was so tired so tired I wasn't even praying for the program I just said Lord grace grace for me let me be able to stand and minister and as soon as I came I sat down here you know how you feel as though they gave you injection steroids that's it powerful how your life can be a marvel when you walk with the Holy Spirit it can't be by might it can't be by power hallelujah tonight my heart is indicting a good matter yea I speak of excellent things my tongue is like the pen of a ready writer God is ready to write over someone's life I truly came I truly came with my heart fired up and I pray that God will bless us for those of us who are worshiping the first for the first time here you are welcome be prepared for an unforgettable experience whatever they told you they didn't lie you sit back and watch the Holy Spirit shock you in the name of Jesus Christ Psalms 126 
Psalms 126. 126. We are going to read three scriptures. We are going to pray and we will cast out devils, heal the sick, speak over our destinies. That's why we are here tonight. No power will stop you. Listen, let me tell you that you came here alone is a sign that victory brought you here. You know, most, most people don't know how desperate Satan is in stopping men from getting where the anointing is. If you left, even if your house is outside here, if you left your house and arrived here successfully, it's a sign that you were guided to be here. Hallelujah. He said, I desire once again to come to you, but Satan, the wicked devil, still hindering men from getting to their place of destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he said, we were like them that dream. Verse 2. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they, among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The last verse, verse 3. It says, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. In fact, let's add one more verse, verse 4. Turn again our captivity, O Lord as the streams of the south or the Negev. Let's go back to verse 1. When the Lord, not if the Lord, when the Lord, that means that it is something that is for sure. According to the law of times and seasons, there is a season allocated. The Bible says, when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, when so it is for sure i don't know about you but for me it is for sure not if not if the lord when the lord turn again the captivity of zion the second thing i want us to observe from this exhortation is that captivity is real the bible did not leave us in ignorance as to the fact that even zion can be in captivity zion the city of the lord zion the place of God. He said the captivity of Zion. There is something called the captivity. Not a captivity. An exact kind of captivity. He says when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion. Restored the fortune. The point I'm trying to communicate is that the word turn around talks of restoration. The captivities of Zion. He said he did it in such a way that we were like them that dream. You have to study someone who wakes up from a dream. How many of you slept hungry and in the dream you saw a buffet? You woke up with the passion of that dream only to find out that it was a dream. But in that dream there was no limitation. You could be in Lagos and be in Joss in one second realities that happen in the dream realm are we together physically you knock but in a dream you can cross over to the other side he said the nature of that restoration it was in the similitude of them that dream when the lord turn again the captivity so captivity is real notice he said the captivity the captivity there may be many kinds of setbacks but there are a few that can hold a major um, it can it can yield a major blow to men and women in their lives listen not every operation of darkness affects you the same way is that true there are times even physically you can have a little sprain on your finger and it may not affect you much but there are times you can be down with typhoid fever that one is a kind of captivity that can keep you down so the Bible says the captivity, the captivity, the fact that you are the Zion of the Lord does not mean it should be strange as it were. 
God would have said when the Lord restored their captivity but he was honest enough to say it is the captivity not of Israel of Zion go and find out about Zion it is the city of the great king that even in heaven it was not a shame that there was war there so the issue is not the war the issue is that there is a system for victory the very fact that war could be conceived in heaven where God is should almost be enough embarrassment war in heaven the fact that Satan could even orchestrate it and it had could mobilize people where did they hold the meeting in heaven that God didn't see where did Satan convince a third of the angels and there was war in heaven and there was war in heaven and all of a sudden Michael the archangel rose up judged Satan and there was no space for him but there was war that's the most important thing second shock and Jesus died the word died the Bible I love the fact that the Bible doesn't hide some things and the word died And Israel was in Egypt read your Bible and see how things that were not very comfortable happened and Abraham the beloved of God Abraham for 25 years was waiting and trusting for a child yet in Genesis chapter 12 a prophetic word was upon him that in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed whoever told you that every time challenges stand before you is proof that you don't have faith it may not be true there was war in heaven where the fountain of wisdom resides there was war in heaven where the all-seeing eye of God God does not see dimensionally he filleth all in all yet there was war the first message tonight is a message of hope do not be ashamed when you realize that there is something that is in the similitude of captivity in front of you apostle i love the lord with all my heart but why are doors closed over my family last time i met someone he told me that it is a shame as many of us would say it's an embarrassment to redemption but the word died the word was killed by men engineered by satan himself the word hung on the cross and he gave up the ghost. To give up the ghost means you were tired and your body could not take it again. The word died. There was war in heaven. We don't know what part of heaven, but there was war in heaven. But the thing is not the war. It's not the captivity. It is when the Lord turned even if he did it once and you got into another trouble he can turn again 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 it wasn't just once god delivered them their lives were full of his deliverance they would escape from some people before they rest another wicked nation will arise and god will turn again who told you he turns just once that he did it in much miracle service don't you know that for every level you rise, there are still some kinds of giants waiting. He turned the one of March. Let him do the one of June too. When the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion. He said we were like them that dream. Verse 2. Then our mouth. He didn't say then we laughed. Our mouth was filled with laughter. Like your mouth is filled with food our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing then said they among the hidden come on breakthrough that unbelievers must talk about <sighs> breakthrough that even a herbalist would discuss and say even in our practice we have not seen this kind that God turns it around in a way and a manner that it must compel discussion. You know, if it is the Lord's doing, it must be marvelous. If it's a man's doing, it's natural. 
if it's Satan's doing is alarming, if it is the Lord's doing, it must be marvelous. He said, then said they among the hidden, the Lord. So they know. They know who can do that kind of thing. The Lord had done great things for them. The nature of that turning around is called a great thing. That even the hidden know that this dimension of result, it is the Lord. When Julius Berger builds road for you, they put a big symbol, B, bam, they stamp it. Is that true? So that when you are passing and you see the building, when you are in doubt, is it PW, is it this, you just see it. They put it there. This is our architecture. When you throw a block up and it falls down and does not break, you know where it came from. There is, when it breaks, you also know where it came from. So God says, I will not only do a work. If I do it generally, they can confuse it with your intellect. They can confuse it with one connection. I will do it in a way that no man, no man. It is not the miracle. It is how it is produced. God can reveal something to you by January and slowly bless you and by by june or july you can have it it will be difficult to give him praises because you say ah but come to think of it I, I read this book i applied principle abc so god says hold on let me show you how that your life can be recreated in seven days and then when he does it he says go and find which other god is able to bring that kind of salvation there were other ways israel would have gotten to canaan but God passed them through the Red Sea. When they got to the sea, they stood there. And God said, I want to do a work. It has to, you see, the glory is not in the result. The glory is the excellency of the method. That God does it in a way that even you, you stand in awe and say, Lord, I know you are a great God, but this one, no. Look what you've done to my mother. In one month, look what you've done to my ministry. Look what you've done to my life. There are miracles that happen in the Bible. Men try to argue it. But there were others the Bible said was a notable miracle. Listen, in this miracle service, God does not just want to bless you. He wants to bless you in a way. He wants to anoint you in a way. He wants to restore you in a way. The key word there is the way he will do it. Hallelujah. The way he will do it. You lost your ATM card and lost your wallet. You are already praying and say, Lord, raise me. And, or let somebody bring it. Then you go back to your home and find it on your bench. Now, that's not restoration. That's doing it in a way that only God would have done it. Are we together? By the time your enemy calls you with a seed and says, just to let you know that the God you serve, I want to serve him. That's not just salvation. That's salvation in a way that will make an onlooker know that this one is the finger of God. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. And they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. Verse 3, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. The Lord has done great things for us. Before we even started testifying, the unbelievers were already there. And then verse 4 says, turn. This is a prayer now. Turn again our captivity. That means a corporate people can be under captivity. Nigeria can be under captivity. A state can be under captivity, but they can cry and say, Lord, turn again our captivity like the streams. You know how you divert water? That when you are watering a garden or whatever it is, irrigation farming, that water can be going this way and you can block it and make it go this way. God is saying, my life was going this way. Turn my life around. In a way and a manner that people say, ah, we already predicted that by next week you should be in the pit. What are you still doing here? And I'm standing here 
only because And they say we even gossiped it. We had concluded that when you are in the pit, this is what we will say. We have written the testimony. And while we were discussing, we didn't know that God can turn again the captivity of a man. Many people don't believe God. We believe our problems. We are used to it. That every time God speaks, we just hope faith is not hope listen carefully faith bible faith is not hope it's not hoping god will do it faith is based on a revelation god will convince you and tell you i am able to do it and then activate your spirit through the revelation of his word for you to know that this thing is true that God can turn a man's life around. I spoke, I was in Port Harcourt the day before yesterday, yesterday we came back today and I spoke on something I wish I had the time to teach you. It was on Ebenezer, the mystery of help from God. Hallelujah. He said, my help comes from above. I don't know where your own comes from, but my help, my help, not our help, I lift up my eyes to the hills because that's where kings live. And in every hill and every palace, there is a system of protection. But uh, uh, this, this situation defies the help that comes from the hill. It says, my help cometh from above. Cometh from above. Cometh from above. Sometimes when God wants to step in and help you, he keeps quiet while everyone mocks you. Because mockery gives God glory. He allows men to vent their foolishness. And he says, are you done? He says, now let me show you what happens when the creator of the ends of the earth decides to step in. As a man, if I like you, there are privileges you can have. When God gets up and dusts himself from his throne and decides to visit your case, even you, you will be shot. Are we together now? That God can turn again the captivity of men. I told you we are reading three scriptures. Scripture number two. Habakkuk chapter one, verse five. Habakkuk chapter one. Ah, my spirit is fired up. Oh, God wants to visit somebody. Habakkuk chapter one. Behold, ye among the heathen. Notice that the heathen must participate in that process for God to be glorified. He wants them to see. He says, and regard and wonder marvelously. For I will walk a walk in your days, which ye will not believe. Though it be told you, there is something I would do that even you, the recipient, the only reason why you believe is just because you are the possessor of it. But ordinarily, <clears throat> I will walk a walk in your day. There is something I can do in your life that I can do in your family that you will sit back and say, my God. God has done a few things in my own life that even as a man of faith, I've had to sit down to say, God, I fear you. God did something in the Red Sea that made Pharaoh look and say, this God, he is God. God did something in Babylon that made Nebuchadnezzar. He wrote a decree, not to the people, to God. Turn again, captivity. I will do a walk tonight. I will change things. Your prayer point of years I will so answer it in a way that you will say, Lord, even if you answered it longer, I would still be grateful. But what, what is this? And God says, I did it suddenly, lest you think I am so weak that it will have to take a long time. <laughs> Last scripture. Isaiah 41. 
10 solid verses we are going to read 10 to 20 Isaiah 41 God is turning things around turning things around turning things around when your clock refused to move you fix it because it was supposed to move and if your life has been brought and tied to time then like the clock the clock is a revelation of how your life must move when clock stops moving you fix it or throw it away if your life stays in one place it's a mockery to God is a mockery to you is a mockery to all who are connected to you that your life like the clock must turn 41 from verse 10 to 20 fear thou not this is a word for somebody for I am with thee yes in the midst of the pain the disappointment I am with you the threat letter I am still with you a man gave a testimony I think it was just something to encourage you I'm not sure it's a real story but he held the hands of Jesus from that story I'm told and they were walking together in a desert place and then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told Jesus he said why did you leave me we I there were four footprints but I got to a point where I saw only two and Jesus told him that was when I carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine I knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so I carried you while you were crying not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles you wouldn't have survived it fear thou not do you know why God starts by telling you fear not because the truth is that life can make you fear no matter how bold you are the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it it can shake even the boldest of us and he starts by saying fear thou not for I am with you he said be not dismayed another word is disappointed he said for I am thy God I will strengthen thee yea I will help I will help thee I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness we are reading to 20 11 behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded he said they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall do what? That's where I got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly. It says, all day that... Okay, let's, let's just read 12. No, no, go, go, just, just go back to... Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. That's it for i the lord thy god will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not why because i will help thee don't trivialize the help of god don't when god tells you i want to help you rejoice when god says i want to help you is the same thing um this guy is locked up here he wants to come up but this is stopping him and I say I want to help you meaning I am stronger than him meaning I know something he doesn't know I want to help you he says fear not O warm Jacob Jacob you are weak I know why does he call Jacob a warm it's not an insult it's a description of your frailty fear not O warm Jacob and ye men of Israel I will help thee saith the Lord thy redeemer the holy one of israel reading to 20 15. behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small thou shalt make the heel as chaff thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them and the whirlwind shall scatter them 
and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. 17. When the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for tests, read it with me. I, the Lord, stop, stop. When the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18. i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and I will make the wilderness a pool of water. I will make it. I will make the wilderness a barren life. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. I will make a destiny that has no business flourishing. A pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Two more verses. 19. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shatter tree the mitel, the oil tree I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together fruitfulness 20 the last verse that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand take it higher for me sing me that song take it higher 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 guys be sensitive that or Lord Bagwara song. Sing it just one time. On Lord Bagwara, we turning things around. On Lord. understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and if it cannot be done the Holy One of Israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot you will still see worms inside how they got there is a miracle that's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access god says when did i start needing a runway when did i start needing ladder to come to the earth when did i start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me i am creator when god speaks it doesn't matter where it is even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth, when his voice comes, echoed by the voice of the prophet, the Bible says, bone came out. Listen carefully. If you don't believe what I'm teaching, you are wasting your time here tonight. Take your eyes away from the mountains and say, Lord, you are going to recreate my life. There are things you will have to turn tonight around for me, like the streams of the Negev. 
when you read further it says that those that 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 sow in tears will reap in joy he didn't just say those that sow money you can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev in the last few months I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God to assist men I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men no matter who you are if God does not assist you start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence he said some trust in horses and some chariots but we there is there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God I trust God tonight to change our lives I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock God in our lives we have come from far and near many of us made tremendous sacrifices the question is do you believe that this God that we serve that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family to visit a man that God looks at you and says I have decided to come to you I've decided to hold your hand I've decided to lift you I've decided to give you a testimony God comes to a beloved sister and say my daughter they have laughed at you now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah I have come to uphold you I have come to wipe your tears I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone you are called of God but it's as if you are not called no anointing no results no testimony no one placing a demand on your grace but something happens to you God says I'm coming to assist you hold my hands God assists us by asking us to give him our hands do you know why because until your hand is holding him he cannot move you see let me tell you this your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move when your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way you don't qualify for his help when he wants to help you he says place your hand upon my hand and you are now going to use your faith from hence not your hand let me be the one using my hand to clear the way let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness let me be the one to make pharaoh give you gold i can give you gold by creating but let's make a caricature out of pharaoh pharaoh you are the one who will give that gold there is a name god is called the father of spirits understand the revelation behind that name every human being is a spirit he resides in a body but God is the father, the author. Every spirit hailed from him. It was out of his spirit that every spirit came about. And the Bible says he's the father of spirits. Meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass. Any and every. I spoke to a man this morning before leaving. Um, very touching the man stood he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and I looked at the man all his children one could not pay his school fees for four years final year had written his last exam but because of school fees they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay the poor girl the daughter was there the man was there standing and I said this is the signature of Satan when satan comes to your life you can know he has a signature he will stamp it on your family do your worst he will stamp it on your destiny do your worst stamp it on everything around your life and when god comes to he will use his hand and erase it and said let me put my own and see who what devil will come to take it out of you i prayed for that man with all my heart I prayed for him passionately 
in that state of poverty and penury the children and the man they put together a seed I, I, I said can I ever accept this I, I collected the seed I prayed with all my heart and then I said look I I place favor may your seed become a tray let me put something upon it for you it's called the favor of God go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around that's the works of darkness some of us are seated here right now our loved ones are in such kind of chaos Satan when Satan does a thing you don't need to ask who did it he does it so clear that men will know it's his finger please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God the works of darkness is darkness the works of God is light that's why we're here to disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives is God speaking to us tonight the captivity of Zion the captivity in your family the captivity in your life what is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level you see it but to touch it it looks like there is a resistance there is a limitation we are going to pray are you ready to pray tonight and then I begin to minister to you by the Spirit oh God turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev lift your voice and cry Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. Turn again the captivity. In Pacatosica Paragate, Zakata, in Tap, Breke, Teke, Padama, Catabarigadibo, in Pata, Breke, Teke, Padagadabosa, in Breke, Sakata, Reke, Teke, Teke, in Procotosica Pata, Reke, Tevalagadosh. Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. Shabbat Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of. I said interview seven graduates no one called for interview and the gentleman according to what he sent me he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream I came and I prophesied it was like a koinonia service I laid hands on him and I mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now I don't know whether or not they have given him the job I don't know that part but that's God at work from a dream prophecy you wake up physically with the alert you didn't apply 
listen listen don't let men fool you this god bar let me tell you when god decides to help you don't tell him how he would do it your ways his ways are higher higher than our ways his thoughts higher than our thoughts when when you see it's an act of faith to let god choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking god for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you lord one cup of tea and i'm grateful and god says no if i give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things i want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one god can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like god is too slow god can act mysteriously fast i was watching a documentary i like watching documentaries um and on, on a, a, a national geographic channel and then they were showing how these animals all these these sea mammals how they eat one another and sometimes with lightning speed a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and i said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your god is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth god we're talking god here number one god can act fast so that you don't limit god and say lord i know you will act but um no problem no number two listen very carefully god can surpass your wildest imagination now it's difficult to understand but you must believe it god can surpass your wildest imagination he can he can so that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that god decides to give you and then number three satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory it's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of god himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will god do this promise how is god going to do this if god does it this way there's already a blockage here if god follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if god uses this method my uncle already hates me and god says you only gave me three methods i have methods as infinite as my names i can use anything I can use a fish to give you coins. I can use a donkey to speak to you. I can use a bird to bring you bread. It doesn't always have to be men. It just has to be material bodies. I can use anything. Are we together? So tonight as we pray, why are we here? You have to understand. Number one, we are here. We are here to clear the way. The forces, remember... There will always be forces that contend against the word of God. We are here to challenge them. Because most times those forces stand our way. They contend with prophecy. When the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away, you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes. Number two, we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force, is his instrument for producing change. He creates by his anointing. It is his word, but that word must be anointed. 
Are we together now? The word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody, could not bless anybody. The word just roamed around the streets of Nazareth. But when the word became anointed, it became Christos, the anointed. So the word of God is coming to your life. I want you to be very sensitive, whether it is the prophetic word, whether it's an instruction to pray, whether it is the deliverance session. Don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that. Let your heart connect. Be angry. There is an obstacle for sure. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you. You get up and say, it's all right. How can it be all right? If it's all right, who invited them to your life? Good things about to happen to you all of a sudden. Your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door, recycles your pain again. Then for many of us, what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men, the men component. God helps by bringing men. God can agree with you. Men can disagree. You will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. pray Lord I'm ready for you this is my family hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen in here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you, leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. 
be broken be broken I'm commanding chains to break bring them out the anointing of the spirit is breaking chains over flow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies hallelujah 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 Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray that if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, Get ready now because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the, a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare, Shabbatos Katadia, by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, every viper hiding in any family hiding in any destiny be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now every viper every snake scorpion Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, who was seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Force is fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement. Overflow one, lift your hands, please. Everyone in overflow one, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow one, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, overflow one, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. lady 
Not lady going back. I'm looking at a lady, but in the spirit, I'm watching. I'm not saying you are a bad girl, my dear. All I'm seeing is a serpent. I'm not seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I expose that serpent now. Glory to the Father. You must be on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit. And if it doesn't sound logical, don't worry. Just let me do the prayer. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes, serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes, be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation fire consuming people's head and God is saying is restoration of lost glory that's what I'm seeing restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please Restoration, Kado Soda Patana. Restoration. I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house. He may not even know it. This is something that happened a while ago. And whatever it is, seemed to backfire. When it came to money issues, he didn't go and pay, like give the herbalist whatever it is. That's what God is showing me now. 
and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus who is Rebecca 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 like Becky Rebecca Rebecca I'm hearing a name Rebecca Rebecca you are seated on the throne stand up you are Rebecca that's the person I'm talking about come stand up you are seated on the throne madam where are you coming from you came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing program. you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother, my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia. The place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her. Just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now in Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Kai, Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, this, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimin, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it in her ear. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. I say it again. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Open your heart. Open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Any kind of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you. That makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you. I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to start bringing long. It's not. There is something. There's a spirit in you. That attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there. You can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Anyone from that region. That's the region the anointing of the spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions. Let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave. The spirits of ancestry. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. Please lift your hands. We'll pray for the sick shortly. But there are people here. Why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing. I just saw it. I don't know where they are. They are in almost every overflow. There are representations. 
Lord Jesus, anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing, let that anointing come. This is your moment now. Receive it now. Ordained by God to receive this anointing today. Ordained by God to receive the grace for healing. I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team. Two people worship team. That anointing, that grace. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. The anointing to heal the sick. You don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God from the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension. Just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. The grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing. It's a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, Your I talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin sister. Your cousin sister is missing. Yes. All these people, they are, leave them. Their loved ones are just fine. Once they are, 
don't please if, if you are not related to the people don't please don't come here we're going to pray generally if you if you do it like that there will be chaos how about you yes, sir, my in-law your in-law yes sir what do you mean your in-law from any state okay all of you your loved ones are missing your loved one is missing who is that your younger brother yes, sir. missing since when 2014 2014 yes sir. they've not seen him yes sir you see how satan works how can somebody leave home for you to sympathize with people put them in your shoes imagine that your child left home and said mommy i'm coming and never comes back i'm prophesying to you three years your child went and said mommy i'm coming until today come mama give her the mic hold on mama your, ch your child is alive this boy you see are they twins or is he the same person one yeah. he's, he's the only one what but happened to him he, he left school i put him in APU. he refused poly he refused he's busy taking drugs going about lying to people that his parents are dead all over at times they call me in the police station or your state but court that is arrested i don't know how they set him free at times you see our Honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. Your only son. One, one, okay, one. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, it, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the He left the school. And went away. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they it, were smoking it, Igbo. It is, Police came and packed them with his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than we do respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, Kodin, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them 100 naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day mama you have come for miracle service god will do something about your situation who is this my brother it's my mom's younger brother. Your for mom's over, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, you've sir. not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, okay. From Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. 
and I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I called them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, may they be reconnected back to you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. I hope someone is holding that person shouting me. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th. Don't forget. Write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7th. I prophesy to him. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit be free from them now ladies be free now I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ for the gentlemen I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 
fire is coming on you now. I command that they let you go now. For some of us, when good things are about to happen, just when you are about to get it, you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream. As soon as you wake up from that experience, no matter what it is, it's gone. Whether it is favor, whether it is breakthrough, fire is still speaking. I'm praying. At the count of three, oh God, you who is a mighty deliverer, I pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now. One, two, three. Let there be deliverance for you now. Deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny. Hallelujah. This lady with lime, yes, you come. No, look at me, look at me. I'm talking at that one with you, yes, come. Where are you coming from? Benway. Benway State. Look at me. Look at this. Are you seeing? She just stood there, and while I was looking, I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face. Now, it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes not to see nonsense around to see something that is destiny molding now look at this girl how will I stand and see someone there and call her out imagine that this lady went back like this to her she will now say oh God so this is how you didn't locate me sensitivity discernment is a priceless spiritual gift sensitivity it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost not wishing praying in the Holy Ghost you activate your organs you have to pray for a long time in the spirit for your spirit to be heightened to be able to perceive spiritual things otherwise you will get into all kinds of error wrong perception that you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear you must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate I just showed you the thing of ring now some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were you see it was something else but it's a ring this lady has bad luck in her life very bad luck I have to pray for you she just came quietly standing this I would have shared the grace and the dear lady will go back and then it will look as if God is not in the place in the name of Jesus I'm seeing you cough I'm seeing her cough that's what I'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough I don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of Jesus Christ let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream someone came to her gave her something and she swallowed in the dream if you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly. 
and say this girl is a witch. He's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life. You can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship. Everything goes down. And she knows she loves God. But if you are not discerning, you will now call the poor girl a witch. And everybody will start running away from her. She's not a witch. There is just a challenge. And then if you also say she's alright like that and somebody marries her, that guy's life will be torn into pieces. This is the testimony of so many families. It's an uncomfortable truth, but it's true. Human beings carry spirits. They carry presence. Father, liberty for her. The devil is already... Ah. Someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid. 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 I just saw a hand reaching into someone's, like someone's stomach to bring out something. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil of fibroid, we'll pray for the sick shortly. We'll be very fast at it. Fibroid is gone now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Can we pray for the sick very quickly? Now listen. I want you, if you are coming here to be prayed for, come full of faith. You don't have to say what is wrong with you. If you are not asked, don't worry. And all of us who are going to pray for the sick, we are going to make this very fast. Are we together? Now, um, as always, overflow one and part of overflow two. Part of overflow two. You will come in here, come and stand in front here. Uh, no, no, not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a God that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and, and then if, if there are not many PR department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very we're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um ejimi ejimi and benga overflow three two of you can go to overflow three um let's see pastor alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and Kenny overflow two. Let's do it like that. I'll, I'll pray. I'll pray for the ones here by myself. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. In the name of Jesus, everybody say amen. amen. Father, we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow. Heal the sick, deliver the oppressed. And in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name.
Everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. 
it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow may you return with strange testimonies whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life 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 the key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit the kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus may the God that gives favor to men grant you favor in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours let there be that miracle. for those who have never had an opportunity to laugh every time you want to laugh something comes that must force you to cry I announce to you the season of your laughter begins tonight where you have been despised I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here in ministry and things are not working you are doing your best but it's just not working receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders anyone here in business in the name of Jesus you are entering the season of your best days from now anyone here trusting God for a job for you or for your loved ones between now and the next miracle service return with your testimony return with your testimony return with your testimony every challenge plaguing your family not just you a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is I stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names I bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting God for financial miracles your miracle the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances I agree with you and I release my faith may the God that prospers men surprise you everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person return as a mother of joyful children the anointing that makes things work the grace for performance I release that grace upon your life everything that is upon your hand now I command it to work in the name of Jesus Christ and I announce to you let July from July 1st to July 31st may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders 
strange miracles strange wonders in the name of Jesus Christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my God show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this bible fall in love with the word of god an appetite for the word of god i release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say i wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack i cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ we declare peace over Nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over Plateau State we declare peace over Kaduna State we declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately. Desperately. You are saying man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life hitherto every time I hear about Jesus I I resent him I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him but from tonight's meeting the Holy Spirit has convicted me and I testify and with all humility I declare that I need him second category of people man of God I love Jesus with all my heart but I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life. Things have gone haywire. If God does not help me, there will be no way out for me. You belong to these two categories, Overflow 1, Overflow 2, Main Auditorium. I'd like you to walk out here quickly. Overflow 3, I'd like you to run to your projector stand. Very quickly, I'm counting 1 to 5 and we're done. 1, God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they are coming. 2, you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. 
You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four, please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever I belong to Jesus I declare that I'm a child of God the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted Jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them I pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert, all of you. There will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.